Hello, welcome back to my Python platformer tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we are going to add in an animation for our player object using a sprite sheet, which you can see right here. I've already done it, but I will be showing you how to make that today. Uh, it doesn't look amazing because I'm not an amazing graphics editor, but but yeah, I've already made my own sprite sheet to use for this game, uh, which you can download if you click the link in the description. And that's the one I will be using for this tutorial. Let's show you uh, the sprite sheet. Let's close this. So this is the sprite sheet that I made, which you can download. Um, my one is pretty bad, to be honest, but I just wanted to show you how to implement a sprite sheet into the game. Um, so yeah, it basically just blitz all, bl blitz all the different images along here. Each of these is 32 by 32. Uh, and you can use your own sprite sheet if you want to, you can make your own one, um, but yeah, it's up to you. You can download this one if you want, it's not very good, but yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, my sprite sheet has eight different sprites, uh, no, not eight different ones, I mean 16. It, it Two of them are like the same, so these two are the same, these two are the same, these two are the same, but yeah, I just did that to slow it down a little bit, the animation. Um, and yeah, each, like I said, each each one is 32 by 32 pixels uh, in size. Each one, and it's just like a a rectangle. They don't there. There's no different vertical things or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get coding right now. So let's minimize this. Uh, one thing uh, one thing that I'm going to change is the background color of the sky. You might. Uh, you'll be able to see at the moment it's quite a dark blue and I don't really like it very much so we are just going to type in light blue is going to be our new color and it's going to be equal to 0, 174 for the uh, green and then 255 for the blue and then what we'll just do down here is window.fill uh, light blue and let's build that and you can see it's a much lighter blue now which is much nicer I think. Um, so to start with we just need to create some new variables in the player class and and these are going to be uh, self.images which we're going to make equal to pygame.image.load and then if you remember the I made a folder called res which stands for um, like resources dot png and that's the that's the name of my sprite sheet uh, which you'll be able to see here I have my main folder here and then we have the res in here so that's where the player sprites is and so that will load it in into the with using the pygame method there and then we're also going to make a new one called number of images and we're going to equal that to 16 because you remember there's 16 images um, in the sprite sheet, and then we, finally we're going to make c self dot c image equals zero, and that stands for current image. So that's the current image that we're showing on screen at one time. And and now uh, we are going to go into the update method. Um, so if we come come down here, just on underneath here, we are going to write in a few lines of code. Uh, so what we are going to do, be doing is just doing self self dot c image plus equals one, and that will uh, increase the current image each time. But as you might guess, that will go over sixteen. So we actually need to uh, change how that works a little bit. So what we're actually going to write is if self dot c image is more than or equal to uh, self dot number of images uh, minus one. Uh, then we are going to set, set self dot c image back to zero uh, because then it will start moving up from there. Else we're going to increment self dot c image so plus equals one. So I hope that that's clear. Self dot number of images is how many images we we are got in the sprite sheet, and it's minus one because we if you remember we start at a zero for the c image and 
so yeah i mean the we need to take away one because the the zero the the zero c image is actually the first image in the uh in the series so yeah we have to take away one hopefully you understand that i just put more than just to be on the safe side in case c image gets bigger than that somehow um which it probably never will but it might do um so anyway we need to actually take out this in the render method we need to take that out because we're not going to be using that anymore and basically what we're going to be writing is window uh, dot blit and we're going to open the uh, parentheses and we're going to type self dot images because that is the image that we want to uh, we want to well uh, blit to the screen and uh, then we're going to open parentheses and then type self dot x comma self dot y and those are the coordinates where we're actually going to um, display the image now we, we could actually do that right now and run it um, but as you can see it's going to blit the whole image now to get the part of the image that we want we're actually going to add um, another another parameter to this and so we're going to make more brackets and we're going to do self dot c image times by multiplied by self dot width and then for the, that is the uh, x coordinate uh, for where we are getting the part of the image from uh, and then the y part is always going to be zero because remember our y doesn't change in the in the sprite sheet so we can just keep it like that and then we do self dot width and self dot height uh, because that's the the width and the height of each image within the uh, within the sprite sheet. So if we save that and run it, we should get the animation like so. And yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it. Um, like I said, we are only drawing a certain part of the uh, of the sprite sheet, and that's how we get the animation looking like that. Uh, so basically you should probably understand that bit it's this bit you should be focusing on uh self dot c image multiplied by self dot width that basically gets the start of uh of each individual um image within the sprite sheet so say self dot image was like one so it would be the second image because you remember the, the zero c image means the first image uh <laughs> Hopefully I'm making sense here. Um, so 1 times 32 would be 32. So it will start 32 pixels on from the start of the image. If we look at our player sprites image again. the So if the C image equals 1, that's the second image. So it will start from here. And then it will do width and height. So it will get this part of the image. And it will display that. Whereas if it was zero, it would display that. Two, it would display that, etc., etc. Hopefully, you understand that, and I think that is quite cool. Um, quite a cool thing to do. Although it doesn't help that the sprite sheet's really bad. But anyway, I'm sure you can probably find loads of sprite sheets on the internet if you want to use any of them. But yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.